I was just naturally drawn to medicine. I had been exposed to medicine my whole life. And I joke with people that I wanted to be something in medicine since I was in utero, but I didn't know what that would be. And I finally came around to the idea that I was a surgeon. Everybody else knew it around me, but I finally sort of came to that, to that conclusion. And when I was in high school, actually, I approached my dad. I said I really wanted to see some kind of surgery on kids. I really thought I was very interested in kids. And he arranged for me to go watch an operation with a local craniofacial surgeon in Dallas. And so even as a 16, 17-year-old, I was in the operating room watching surgeries. And I was just fascinated by it. I thought it was just unbelievable and transformative. And when I saw that and saw all of these different elements and began to understand how wide a field plastic surgery was and is, I really became very drawn to it. And that the more and more I exposed myself to it, the more I liked it, the more I liked the creativity, the more I liked the ability to really make an impact on somebody's life. And it just, my personality just sort of meshed with plastic surgery and I have just been on this track ever since. I really love aesthetic surgery. Aesthetic surgery is just such an interesting and fun thing to do. It's fun because the experience of interacting with patients when you see them af before and after and how happy they are is just, that's really, for any doctor, whether you're talking about a plastic surgeon, a hematologist, or an infectious disease doctor, that transition that patients go through is what all of us, what drew all of us into the field. And this is definitely the case for aesthetic surgery as well when I get to experience that from patients. For me, I specifically trained in craniofacial surgery. After training in plastics, I trained in craniofacial because I really love head and neck operations. So a lot of my aesthetic focus has moved into the area of head and neck, obviously, rhinoplasties, facelifts, eyelid lifts because that's the area that I have really spent a lot of time focusing. I like to combine the skill set that I have developed through doing craniofacial surgery with the skill set for aesthetic surgery and using that sort of cross-training just like a cross-trainer does when they're working out lets me provide unique results to patients and gives me unique, uh, a unique talent and skill set to, to be able to provide those results. The day of surgery is a scary day for patients. It's scary, it's also fun and exciting. It's sort of, there are a whole bunch of different emotions. For me, I approach it, there are two sides to it. There's an algorithmic side and there's a humanistic side. The algorithmic side is that the day of surgery, though it starts that morning for the patient, starts well before that for me, and that I actually sit down and think about the procedure. I think about what I'm going to do, where I want to place that incision. Do I want it here? Do I want it there? I look at their pictures again. I think about all the different ver ways that I could accomplish the same thing and decide which is the one that's going to be best, which is the one that is time tested, works, is going to just make this patient really, really happy. Then when they go to surgery, it's important that we understand that the patient is having surgery, but the patient's asleep. Their family, on the other hand, is waiting and is nervous. And their family wants to know what's going on. And so we make sure to stay in touch with them. I tell the families this ahead of time. I say, I will find you like a homing missile. Don't you worry, as soon as I am done and everything is okay and, and your loved one is safe, and I feel it's safe for me to leave their side, I will come find you and I will sit down and tell you everything that went on. We try to make sure that the entire experience from takeoff through landing is uh, happy and pleasant. We don't like turbulence anywhere along the way and uh, try to make sure that um, they are very happy when they reach the gate. I think that for every person when they go see a doctor, I know when I go see a doctor, I want to know about them. I want to know not just where did they go to school, but I want to know where do they live, what do they like to do for fun, are they a normal person. So it's very important to me that I do engage in fun outside activities. I love to fish. I love to go to Disneyland, I love to travel, I love to eat, I love to cook, and most importantly, I love to do all of that with my family and friends.